A somber day for the United Kingdom as the world says goodbye to a queen whose reign spanned more than seven decades, the longest reigning monarch in British history. The grief of this day, felt not only by the late queen's family, but all round the nation, the Commonwealth and the world, arises from her abundant life and loving service, now gone from us. Westminster Abbey's tenor bell chiming once a minute for 96 minutes, marking each year of Queen Elizabeth II's life. Roughly 2,000 people attended, including world leaders like President Joe Biden, First Lady Jill Biden, and members of the royal family. Following the service, thousands of people lined the streets of London as the Queen's coffin passed Buckingham Palace for the final time. We adore her, and that's why we are here, because we are part of the Commonwealth. The crowds cheering as her coffin left London. The Queen laid to rest in Windsor Castle, near her husband of 73 years, Prince Philip. In London, Isabel Rosales, KITV4 Island News. Well, new at midday, a group of people from Hawaii also paid their respects to the Queen this morning. Micah Kamohoali'i and his designs by Kamohoali'i models are in London for London Fashion Week. With 40 Hawaiians in his crew, Kamohoali'i led the procession in his traditional malo and feather cape. Now, Hawaiian royals have a long-standing history with the British royals. It felt only befitting to dress in our traditional attire and pay respect to the Queen of England. Uh, since so many of my family members had relationships with the uh, uh, British family. Well, Queen Kapiolani and Princess Lili Uokalani attended the Jubilee of Queen Victoria, who is the great-grandmother of Queen Elizabeth II.